evening, everyone. I'd like to welcome you here tonight for an outstanding evening where we will be recognizing exceptional students from across our schools. My name is Jeff Marr, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to tonight's event. We will begin tonight with the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by our national anthem by students from Leonardtown High School's Bella Voce. Please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. That was beautiful, ladies, under the direction of Kylie Oosterink here at Leonardtown High School. Well, thank you to all of the staff, families, and community members who have come together tonight to celebrate. We are joined by so many people who have come to applaud our students. Please stand as I introduce you. Members of the Board of Education, Ms. Karen Bailey, Chairman, is unable to join us, but we have our Vice Chair, Ms. Kathy Allen. Mr. Jim Davis, member. Miss Mary Washington, member. And Miss Rita Weaver, member. We are also joined by our student member of the board, Miss Roma Concaria. And Dr. Scott Smith, superintendent of schools. We also have with us this evening our deputy superintendent, Dr. Maureen Montgomery. Assistant Superintendent of Supporting Services, Dr. Jeff Walker. We have a Director of Curriculum and Instruction, Ms. Lisa Bachner. And we are also joined by many principals, assistant principals, and supervisors. Would you all please to be, stand to be recognized? I also want to give a special thank you to Ms. Mills and the staff here at Leonardtown High School for hosting this evening's events. We are streaming tonight's ceremony, as I said, live on our school system's website, and we'll be posting it on our YouTube channel as well. And I want to thank our team in the Department of Strategic Planning and Communications, as well as students from the Forest Center's video production program for making this possible. As I said, tonight is a special night and we recognize our exceptional students. These students truly represent the best of the best. These teams, ensembles, and individuals are being recognized for their accomplishments at the regional, state, and for some, the national level. Students, we celebrate and applaud you. Congratulations.
couple of other announcements. Uh, when we have concluded tonight's event, there are refreshments in the lobby. Uh, so please join us for that celebration when we have concluded. Also, I do realize that there's a little bit of a storm coming through. Should we lose power, please remain in your seats for directions. Hopefully that will not occur. To kick off tonight's recognitions, it is very appropriate that our student member of the board, Ms. Roma Concaria, bring remarks on behalf of the Board of Education. Roma? Uh, good evening, students, teachers, parents, and other distinguished guests. My name is Roma Concaria, and like Dr. Mar just said, I have served on SMC SMCPS's Board of Education for two years as the student member. Basically, as the student member, I was responsible for representing uh, the student voice and the student perspective. On behalf of the Board of Education, I would just like to congratulate all of you for your wonderful accomplishments. No matter how many times someone tells me about what you've done, I continue to be amazed. Currently, I'm actually a senior in high school, and so I fully understand how many obligations that students have from schoolwork to family to friends to just remembering how to breathe, you guys have a ton on your plate. But no matter how busy your lives are, you still take the time to push yourselves further. You amaze me, your parents, your teachers, and the community around us. I think that what I love most about seeing our peers so dedicated is not necessarily the trophies or the certificates that you bring home, which is ironic because of why we're here today. Uh, don't get me wrong, all of the awards are great, but what makes me smile more is seeing how much you guys love to do what you do. Seeing you guys just bask in what you've done and smile at your accomplishments is the best reward that you can get. Years from now, when you look back on your years in SMC, SMCPS, you will think about the music, the science, engineering, math, sports, business, or leadership activities that you pursued. You will remember them not because you ticked a box off on your college applications, but because they shaped the person you became. No matter how cliche my words may sound, I just want you to see the truth in them. I am no wiser or more experienced than any of the students here today. After all, I'm not even 18 years old yet, so I can't really spout words of wisdom. But I know that if you simply continue to do what you do, everything will pan out well in the future. There's so many people in this world who are educated and skilled at what they do. But what sets you apart is your sheer dedication to doing what you do just for the sake of enjoying and learning. When you look at adults who are satisfied with their careers or their lives, they're the ones who took every and any opportunity to do what they're passionate about. So as we continue with our educational journeys, whether that be in SMPES or beyond, we need to remember to keep pushing ourselves and challenging ourselves. Life will always be busy from here on out, but we just need to remember to take the time to step out of our comfort zones. Only then can we grow as students and as people. Once again, congratulations for everything you've done. Thank you. Thank you, Roma, that was exceptional. Really appreciate your words. Tonight, we celebrate over 250 students for their accomplishments. In your program, these students are listed alphabetically under the program and the school for which they are recognized. As the supervisor for each program area reads their names, they will also note the specific team or individual's accomplishments. School teams or ensembles will be recognized as a group. Dr. Montgomery and Mrs. Bachner will be joining us in presenting these awards. Students, as they're coming to the stage, I'll give you a few directions on uh, coming forward. To help move things along, we ask that if you are in the next group, come here to the left, up this, this aisle way here, and be prepared to come forward as the group prior to yours is called. So those being recognized, come forward to the stairs, receive your award, you'll come across the stage and pause for a picture after um, being congratulated by the superintendent and board members, and then you'll go back down that set of stairs back to the audience. We also invite the school's principal, assistant principal, team coach, or director to join us to my right for the group photo as well. We will begin the recognition tonight for the math challenge and then proceed through each set of awards in the order they are in in the program. So let's get started. I'd like to inv invite Ms. Bridget Dunbar to present the recognition for the Smeco Elementary Math Challenge. Please hold your applause until the full group from the set of awards is called. Ms. Dunbar. 
Good evening. Every year, the Southern Maryland Electric Cooperative, SMECO, sponsors a math challenge during fourth and fifth grade school teams, which during which fourth and fifth grade school teams from public and non-public schools compete in individual and team events. This year, the competition was held at Leonardtown Middle School on April 14th, and 277 students from 20 schools competed. This year, the winners are fourth grade, individual winners. Third place, Zachary Richards, White Marsh Elementary School. Second place, Jarrison Tharp, Leonardtown Elementary School. First place, Ethan Cosgrove, Leonardtown Elementary School. The top five individual scores from each team are combined with the score from the team portion of the event to determine the winning teams. The fourth grade first place team was Leonardtown Elementary School, coached by Rachel Hall. The team includes Braden Connolly, Ethan Cosgrove, Davis Murphy, Carlin Skaggs, Jarrison Tharp, Kendall Tharp, and Eva Weller. Now for the fifth grade individual winners. Third place, Andrew Salter, Leonardtown Elementary School. Second place, Caroline Coleman, Evergreen Elementary School. And the first place winner, Sasha Malone, Chesapeake Public Charter School. The fifth grade first place team was Leonardtown Elementary School, coached by Cheryl White. This team included Mia Cassetta, Trenton Corbett, Zachary Cotterwas, Paige McCowiak, Kinnick Pumroy, Meredith Salter, and Andrew Salter. I want to thank all of the principals, coaches, and volunteers, and Ms. Bachner, as well as Mrs. Bailey and Mrs. Allen for helping with the event.
Along with sponsoring the uh, elementary math challenge, SMECO also sponsors the Math Counts competition for Southern Maryland schools. Middle schools from Calvert, Charles, and St. Mary's County participate in this event. Math Counts is a national competition, and this year nearly 200 students from 21 Southern Maryland schools per participated in the regional competition held at Calvert Middle School. The top five teams and top 10 students not on a winning team are eligible to compete at the statewide Math Counts competition at Johns Hopkins University. St. Mary's County sent one team and six individual students to the state competition. The second place winning team from Leonardtown Middle School is coached by Bernadette Sheets. This includes Benjamin Dodge, Mika Jones, Caleb Bryan, and Damajit Singh. Next, I'd like to rec recognize our individual student mathletes. Avery Thompson from Leonardtown Middle, coached by Bernadette Sheets. Aiden Pisarchik from Margaret Brent, coached by Rich Guthrie. Cameron Ray from Esperanza, coached by Gabby Sivak. And we had three Individual mathletes from Spring Ridge, coached by Tom Galligan and Gary Robinson. Holland Henderson Boyer, who actually came in first place at the regional competition. Ivan Chu and Mark Howenstein. Please welcome Denise Mandis to present the STEM Awards. Good evening. My name is Denise Mandis, filling in for Jason Hayes, Supervisor of Science and I'm here tonight to recognize this year's student accomplishments in science. We will begin by recognizing students involved with VEX IQ. On March 3rd, the control freaks from Spring Ridge Middle School put their robotic skills on display at the Maryland VEX IQ Championships held in Towson, Maryland. They won the design award, which automatically qualified them for the World VEX IQ Championship in Louisville, Kentucky on April 29th through May 1st. Tonight, we recognize the Control Freaks, who are coached by Tom Galligan and Kim Grabenstein. The team includes David Abbott, Douglas Abbott, Luca Ackerman, Joseph Brockett, Amar Holliday, Juana Kemp-Leon, and Tyler Ludlow. Ms. Grabenstein and I worked with all of the teams, and I'd like to recognize the coaches that worked with this particular team. That's Ms. Lori Ludlow and Danny Vereen.
For science fair, St. Mary's County Public Schools had 88 middle and high school students complete in, compete in the 58th annual SMC Science and Engineering Fair on January 27th. 17 junior division and 20 senior division students earned spots in the Prince George's County Regional Science and Engineering Fair, which was held on March 24th. Tonight, we recognize those students who placed first in their categories at the Prince George's Science Fair, as well as grand award winners in both the junior and senior divisions. Additionally, please make sure you check out all of our first place projects, which are currently on display out in the lobby. Junior Division First Place Category Winner at PG Area Regional Science Fair, Tom Wilson from Spring Ridge Middle School, who could not be with us this evening. <laughs> Junior Division First Place Category Winner at PG Area Regional Science Fair, Peter Imhoff from Spring Ridge Middle School. Junior Division First Place Category Winner at PG Area Regional Science Fair, Lydia Cheatham, Spring Ridge Middle School. <laughs> Junior Division First Place Category Winner at PG Area Regional Science Fair, Julia Nilsson, Spring Ridge Middle School. Another student who unfortunately could not be with us this evening, but won the junior division first place category winner at PG Area Regional Science Fair, Jackson Collins from Spring Ridge Middle School. <laughs> junior division first place category winner at PG Area Regional Science Fair, Mark Reinecke, Spring Ridge Middle School. The Junior Division First Place Grand Award winner was Tom Wilson from Spring Ridge Middle School. <laughs> Already on stage with us, the Junior Division Third Place Grand Award winner, Peter Imhoff, Spring Ridge Middle School. The Senior Division First Place Category Winner at PG Area Regional Science Fair, John Posednik, Forest Technology Center. Another student who unfortunately could not be with us this evening, Senior Division First Place Category Winner at PG Area Regional Science Fair, Kyra Prattley from the James A. Forrest Career and Technology Center. <laughs> Senior Division First Place Category Winner at PG Area Regional Science Fair, William Voorhees, James A. Forrest Career and Technology Center. Senior Division First Place Category Winner at PG Area Regional Science Fair, and with us this evening, I believe, Savannah Jabber from Great Mills High School. Maybe not. Senior Division First Place Category Winner at PG Area Regional Science Fair, Taylor Denny, James A. Forrest Career and Technology Center.
Senior Division First Place Category Winner at PG Area Regional Science Fair, Michaela Mikesell, James A. Forrest Career and Technology Center. We have four other winners who could not be with us this evening, so I'll read off their awards. Senior Division First Place Category Winner at PG Area Regional Science Fair, Olivia Soa from Great Mills High School. Senior Division Second Place Grand Award Winner, John Pesednik from James A. Forrest Career and Technology Center. Senior Division Second Place Grand Award Winner, Kyra Platt Prattley from the James A. Forrest Career and Technology Center. And another second place Grand Award winner in the Senior Division, William Voorhees, James A. Forrest Career and Technology Center. On January 13th, the Letty Marshall Dent Elementary School LEGO Robotics team competed in the regional first LEGO League championship held in Fort Washington, Maryland. At the competition, they were awarded first place in robot design. Tonight, we recognize the members of the Dent Elementary School LEGO Robotics team and their coach, Alicia Ortega. The team included Jacob Brock, Caden Cox, Tucker Flora, Dylan Gerhardt, Elizabeth Gerhardt, Richard Gleason, Brian Lawrence, Logan Miller, Drake Norvell, Abigail Otruba, and Kennedy Williams. Congratulations, Dent Elementary Robotics. Now I would like to introduce Dr. Laura Carpenter, who will help us recognize destination, destination imagination teams. Dr. Carpenter. Good evening. Destination imagination, or DI, is an exhilarating after-school activity in which students work in teams to solve mind-bending challenges and present their solutions at tournaments. Teams are tested to think on their feet, work collaboratively, and devise original solutions that satisfy the requirements of the challenges. Participants gain more than just basic knowledge and skills. They learn to unleash their imaginations and take unique approaches to problem solving. After winning, after winning competitions at both the regional and state, two St. Mary's County Public Schools teams earned the right to compete at the Global Destination Imagination Tournament to be held at the University of Tennessee Knoxville this coming week. Please join me in congratulating the Mechanicsville Elementary School Wi-Fi Disconnect, including team members Marie Cable, Carly Hare, 
Benjamin Hoffman, Tony Kiros, Victoria Scarborough, Kira Wilcher, and Faith Wright. <laughs> team members are joined by their team managers, Jill Goodrich and Karina Cable. Mechanicsville team will be joined by the Great Mills alternative dimension, alternate dimension, including team members Sophie Dory, Jolie Ganzel, Morgan Hunt, Alexis Nezik, Kate Nezik, and Susan Raman. Their team manager is Mary Beth Ganzel. I'd now like to introduce Dr. Andy Roper, who will recognize awards in athletics. Andy Roper. Hi, good evening. Uh, this evening we would like to recognize uh, student athletes who had successes at the uh, regional and state level uh, in the past fall and winter seasons. Some athletes could not be with us this evening because they're actually multi-sport uh, athletes and we do have a Leonardtown track team competing in the rain up the road uh, as we speak trying to get ready for uh, state finals hopefully. Um, I'm going to go through uh, in a seasonal uh, approach here, which is slightly different from what you have, so soccer team, please be ready in any second now. Uh, in the fall, Nell Ray from Leonardtown High School won the 4A Regional Championship in cross country, competing in the 5K course in a time of 19 minutes and 43 seconds. Her coaches were Brooke Fallon, Justin Zarzaka, and Claire Sullivan. This is the cue for the soccer team here. <laughs> in the fall also, the Great Mills boys soccer team won the 3A South Championship. The team advanced to the state championship game where they were narrowly defeated uh, in a game that went to overtime and penalty kicks. The team was coached by Matt Prosman, Eric Dion, and Russ Carrington. I would ask that the coaches first come up and then the team to follow and join us all on the stage. Thank 
organized. Randomly signed. Yeah, we'll just, it'll, be, it'll be fun for y'all to. Oh my goodness, that, that would actually fit. Nope, I had one that fit perfect. They're all so much taller. They're all so much taller. You guys all look very small. Yeah, they look very small. We're going to have kids cry. We'll get the names right. We'll get the names right. Keep talking about it. Congratulations to you too, Coach. going to take some work. I'm going this way. Taller in the back. Terrific. Okay, as the Great Mills team leaves the stage, we're moving on to the winter season, where the Leonardtown girls indoor track and field team experience successes individually and as a team. We'd first like to recognize those individuals that could be with us tonight, uh, and then ask the remainder of the team to join us on stage if they're able to be with us. Leah Essex won the 4A Girls Regional Championship in the 300 meters with a time of 40.72. Uh, Raquel Drexel won the Regional Championship in the 1600 meters with a time of 5 minutes 40.98. Rachel Geiger won the, three, 30, excuse me, the 3200 meters with a time of 12 minutes 43 and 91 seconds. Asha Gaines won the regional high ship, high, I'll try that again, the regional high jump championship with a jump of five feet one inches. Congratulations. Congratulations. Sean O'Rourke won the East Regional Championship in the 1600 meters with a time of four minutes 42.13. And Victor Argerbright III won the 4A East Regional Championship in the 3,200 meters with a time of 10.36.67. As I said, many of the team are competing in a regional outdoor event this evening that starts tonight and hopefully gets completed on Saturday. But if there are any other members of the team here, uh, please come forward to be recognized and be in the photograph. I'm not sure if there are, though. Maybe have one.
Moving on to another winter sport, wrestling. Under the direction of Great Mills coaches Carl Van Dunk and Chris Williams, Christopher Albo won the 4A3A South Regional Championship at 106 pounds. Congratulations. And at Leonardtown High School, coached by David Cummins, Robert Samuel, and Quade Morris Miller, the following students won regional championships. Sean Vosberg won the 4A, 3A East Regional Championship at 120 pounds. Uh, he went on to states but was injured, uh, unfortunately, as he was defending a state championship. Trevor Crowley won the 4A, 3A East Regional Championship at 160 pounds. Alexander Green won the 4A3A Regional Championship at 195 pounds. And John Potetnik won the 4A3A Regional Championship and went on to win the 4A3A Maryland State Wrestling Championship at 152 pounds. But Unfortunately, John could not be here. Uh, he was mentioned earlier for another award. I believe he's on a STEM field trip this evening, so uh, involved in many, many things. And at this time, I would like to introduce Mr. Todd Burroughs, Supervisor of Instruction for Fine Arts. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, we recognize the students of the Great Mills High School Marching Band for earning the title of Group 2 Open Maryland State Champions in the U.S. Band's Marching Band Competition Circuit. The U.S. Band's organization has been in existence since 1988, and its goal is to support the development of young people into magnificent human beings through participation in the arts. Earning the title represents countless hours of perseverance, practice, and a dedication to excellence instilled in students through their incredible director, Mr. Matt Pearson. Mr. Pearson isn't here this evening because they're getting ready to begin the musical at Great Mills High School. I encourage you to go see it tomorrow and Friday at 7 p.m. It's going to be a great show. So at this time, please join me in welcoming and congratulating the members of the Great Mills High School Marching Band. A lovely photo of the ensemble. How neat is that?
we're gonna do a picture for school. For school. Yep. Tonight, we also recognize those students who were selected to participate in the 2017 Maryland All-State Performing Ensembles. Each November, students from all across the state of Maryland audition for a coveted spot in one of these groups. The audition for these ensembles is highly competitive, and the number of students selected from St. Mary's County is a testament to our students' musical talents and abilities. This year, we had students selected to participate in the All-State Senior Orchestra, All-State Junior Orchestra, All-State Mixed Chorus, All-State Senior Chorus, and All-State Junior Chorus. Students, we're going to call you up by school, and we're going to take a picture with each school, please. So at this time, we'd like to recognize the following students. From Leonardtown Middle School, Connor Rock, All-State Junior Chorus. From Choptakan High School, Jackson Alderman, All-State Senior Orchestra, Dante Frazier, All-State Senior Mixed Course, Hannah Gross, All-State Senior Mixed Course, Amani Paul, All-State Senior Mixed Course, and Catherine St. Laurent, All-State Senior Trouble Course. From Great Mills High School, Jeremy Case, All-State Junior Course, and Matthew Price, All-State Senior Mixed Course. And from Leonardtown High School, Alexis Barton, All-State Senior Trouble Course, Kirsten Barton, All-State Senior Orchestra, Kelly Carpenter, All-State Senior Trouble Course, Bentley Dorks, All-State Senior Mixed Course, Madeline Irwin, All-State Junior Course, Casey Firm, All-State Senior Orchestra, Julia Hancock, All-State Junior Course, Katie Kinley, All-State Senior Trouble Course, Kyla Laird, All-State Senior Trouble Course, Jacob Lyons, All-State Junior Course, Kelly Murph, All-State Senior Mixed Course, Bradley Oosterink, All-State Senior Mixed Course, Pierre Pettigene, All-State Junior Orchestra, Laura Pontanero, All-State Senior Trouble Course, Cole Potus, All-State Junior Course, Slade Scriber, All-State Senior Mixed Course, Megan Soriano, All-State Senior Trouble Course, Andrew Tolarowski, All-State Senior Mixed Course, Ray Martoisen, All-State Senior Mixed Course, and Katana Vanden Vandenboss, excuse me, All-State Senior Trouble Course.
And once again, congratulations to all of our fine arts students. Well done, everyone. At this time, I would like to welcome Mr. Mike Boyle, our Career and Technology Supervisor. Good evening. Uh, as you've heard, uh, my name is Mike Boyle. I'm the Career and Technology Supervisor. And I'm very pleased to be here tonight to recognize our uh, outstanding students in career and technology, different kind of um, competitions that we were in. Let me just find where we are, because I see some guys getting ready here. We're gonna start, and we're gonna do just a little bit differently. And at, at first we're going to do our, our cyber um, teams. And there's five teams all together, so we want to bring up one team at a time to get pictures. And please, sponsors, please come along to get those pictures. And I see both sponsors here for all the different ones. Um, let's find out where they start. So those that don't know what the Cyber Patriot Challenge is, just real briefly, um, the Cyber Patriot Challenge gives teams a set of virtual images and representations of operating systems. And it's up to the teams to task to find the cyber vulnerabilities within those systems and then harden those systems without, with maintaining all their critical situations as well. So it's not a really easy thing. It's a pretty difficult situation. We're pretty proud of these folks. The first team that we're gonna call up here is from Gray Mills High School and it is from the ROTC with Captain Randall, and it's Brandon Carpenter, Jaden Collins, Colby Fletcher, Dalton Lewis, and Isaiah Terrell. <laughs> this team was the semi-final round platinum. Captain Randall just told me second in the state. Our next team uh, is a state round platinum team. They're from Great Mills and Nora Blasco is their sponsor. I believe Nora's the next sponsor for the next quite a few of these rest of these teams. So she'll be up here for a while. Um, and it, the team two here is Daniel Wiermey, Kenny Baraka, and I'm sorry I may have crushed those two names, I apologize. Uh, Brian Weirs, Joshua Hoffman, and Liam Poole. None of them? Okay. There's a lot going on tonight. That's okay. <laughs> Very well. An uh, a second uh, or a third team now we're talking, uh, state round platinum as well. It is a team that consists of Alex Mahatmid, Nick Zoe, Bradley Wool Wolfarth, Kelton Crownover, Finnegan O'Neill, 
and Tashin Raham. Our fourth team is a state semi-formal round gold, and this team consists of Maya Lee, Emma Statz, Leanna Eldridge, Caitlin Sokoloff, uh, Cadence Dries, and Elena White. And the last team is a state semi-formal round gold, team five, which consists of Greg Tisch, Sean Davis, Min Nugin, Jarrett Schutz, David Shim, and Anthony Walsh. Next is from our FBLA chapter at Chopped Gun High School. Um, we had four students place in the top four this year. Um, a first, a second, a third, and a fourth. I'm not sure how many of them are here tonight. I'm not sure if Cindy Baden's here or not. I haven't seen her. But anyone that would uh, come up and if any of the APs or principals, they please come on up with them. We have a first place win winner in agribusiness which is Nate Brown. We have a second place winner in Intro to Business Procedures, Jessica Blackwell. A third place winner in Word Processing, Megan Overby. And a fourth place winner in Securities and Investment, Tommy DeStefanis. And I don't think he's here tonight. That's our FBLA winners, one, two, three, and four.
Skills USA is next. And uh, there's a couple of students that I'd like to have up here for the, the entire time. And these, uh, this is a really big deal with skills. Um, it's our state officers this year. We have a Maryland state officer uh, for the state for skills as president, Charles Burks. And Maryland state officer reporter, which is Lindsay Fuller. And if you guys could be here for all the different um, photos, Skills USA would enjoy that. So they're going to get in with each Every of them. Of yeah, they're they're the Maryland tweeters. Yeah. Okay, so that's the Skill USA tweeters. They're going to tweet everything out for us. Thank you. Perfect. Also, with uh, all the others, anybody that teachers, uh, principals, whomever to come up with, with different, please do come up. Uh, I'm not sure which ones are here. Um, we have our skills um, leaders, which is Mary Thompson. I see her making her way up. And Bonnie Skinner as well. I'm not sure if she's here this evening or not. So we do have winners at, um, in gold, silver, and bronze, first, second, and third. Our gold winners will all be invited to nationals, which is in Kentucky this year, I believe, again, um, which they go every summer, it seems like. So uh, we'll start with our first place or our gold members first, and we'll get a picture with all of them. Our gold in audio radio, first place, Richard Gerard. And Victoria Brooks, I don't believe they're here this evening. Aviation first place, Vince Dickerson. <laughs> Medical technology first place, Madison McBride. Telecommunication Cabling, first place, Bailey St. Clair. <laughs> Information Technology Services, first place, Jeremy Hubert. <laughs> and Dental Assisting, first place, Kelly Hammett. There's our gold. These are our gold winners. First place in the states. Next is our silver, our second place winners. In audio radio, second place, Aaron Kilpatrick. Audio, re audio radio, Annabelle Finnegan. The team of engineering technology design, second place. Uh, Kyra Prattley, William Voorhees, and John Pesednik. You may have heard those names several times tonight. Those folks are in Pittsburgh at this time with their uh, invention that has gone all the way to there to the Intel uh, Science and Engineering. So they've been there for the week, and uh, you'll probably hear a lot about them in the newspaper here pretty soon. They were on TV last night with the Pittsburgh News. Second place, 
Aviation, Tyler Holcomb. <laughs> Broadcast News and Production Team. It's a four-member team of Jordan Amspeiser, Robert Uma, Eric Van Burnt, Jessica Umins. Any of them? Oh, there's a Jessica. And our last silver winner in telecommunication cabling is Justin Dean. Now for our bronze third place winners. In promotional bulletin board in third place, there was a team of three, Cameron Levy, Gabrielle Gutierrez, and Abriel Kemp. <laughs> Aviation third place, Seth Dickerson. Arch architectural design third place, Cameron Raley. Broadcast News Production, third place, uh, team of four, Max O'Connor, Kyle Cartwright, Brandon Carlson, and Michelle Aquabal. Third place, telecommunication cabling, is Lindsay Fuller. She just comes down the stage. <laughs> <laughs> TV video production, third place team of two, Justin Bowes and Alyssa Woodford. <laughs> Annalise, I'm sorry, Annalise. I just need to see faces and then I can put it. It's easier. And in third place, auto refinishing, Caleb Hare. <laughs> These are our skills, third place bronze winners. And lastly, along with uh, our two Maryland state officers, we also have two national voting delegates for Skills USA, and we'd like to call them up there. And that's uh, uh, Tyler Denny and Seth Dickerson.
believe there's many ways to judge a superintendent, and I believe tonight he's earned a 10 at photo, getting them together. So tonight, uh, and now I'd like to conclude by welcoming Dr. Smith to the podium to bring in closing remarks. Well, first and foremost, um, I don't really have anything written down. I don't have formal concluding remarks. Uh, for an evening like this, I think that really the, the testament is um, what we see before us. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, all of our children from elementary, middle, and high school, the things that our children accomplish in the classroom, on the stage, on the playing field, um, it really is quite exceptional. So to everybody who was recognized tonight, all of the young ladies and gentlemen, congratulations and a good round of applause. But as we all know, they wouldn't be there without their classroom teachers, without their extracurricular sponsors, without their coaches, without all the adults that take the time to make sure that they are where they need to be without their parents and their grandparents and their aunts and uncles and family friends. So young ladies and gentlemen, could you please give a round of applause to all the adults who help you every day. And with that, I will we'll conclude our evening. There are refreshments in the, in the main lobby, and there's exhibits to take a look at. And we can all be home by 8 o'clock, because at 8 o'clock, it's games four.